Hey everyone, it's Jack Raymond, online pastor. I'm really excited about today's devotional. I'm going to look at two short and yet very, very powerful verses about the life of Jesus and his ministry, and ultimately one of the keys to how Jesus changed the world forever and how we can follow his example and change the world around us as well. And so the verses are found in Luke chapter 5, beginning in verse 15. We read this, but even now, uh, but now even more, the report about him being Jesus went abroad and great crowds gathered to hear him and to be healed of their infirmities. But he, being Jesus, would withdraw to desolate places and pray. So here's the picture. Uh, the fame of Jesus is growing. More and more people are hearing about him. More and more people want to experience his teaching. More and more people are being healed and changed by him. Jesus' success is growing. His fame is growing. And, you know, you think about this and you would think, what would I do in this situation? What would anyone do in this situation? And a lot of times it's just to lean into that success, to do even more. But we see in verse 16, Jesus does the opposite. It says that Jesus would break away and go to desolate places, alone places, quiet places to pray, to spend time alone with his heavenly father. In fact, some translations of Luke 5, 16 will say that he would frequently do this, that this was a part of his habit. You see, Jesus here on earth had about three to three and a half years of an earthly ministry to forever change the world around him, to change all of human history, to save lost sinners. Luke 19, 10 says Jesus came to seek and to save the lost. And yet so often he would still break away Spend time alone with God in prayer. And the the reminder that's so convicting to me is how much more do I need that? What a greater degree of dependence I need on God. And I know that this is true in my life and perhaps this is true uh, for you as well. Oftentimes what gets in the way is just life. The busyness of life, all the things uh, that we perhaps have on our plate. I know if I ask someone, you know, how are you doing Uh, Perhaps the number two response after good is some form of busy, tired, stressed out, overwhelmed. It feels like all of us are in that season right now. And yet, if we want to change the world like Jesus changed the world and like Jesus is changing the world, we have to spend time away from the noise to break away, to go to a quiet place, a desolate place and pray and to make that our habit to frequently break away and spend time alone with our Heavenly Father. I love the quote from Martin Luther, a great German uh, pastor, a great German theologian in the 1500s. In fact, in many ways, uh, the father of the Reformation, uh, a period of coming back to the Word of God as the foundation of Christianity and coming back to a salvation by faith alone. And he's famously quoted for saying this. He says, You know, I am so busy today that I can't help but begin this day with three hours of prayer. Right? We don't think about, oh, I have three free hours. But think about the impact we would have, uh, maybe not starting with three hours, but maybe just starting with three minutes. And then in growing that to 10 to 15 to 20 minutes, where it becomes said of us that we frequently, often would break away and spend time alone with God in prayer. Because I believe all of us, we want to see the world change. And especially if you're a Christian today, you want to see the world change for Christ, for Jesus. And the way in which we do that is following Jesus' example right here in Luke chapter 5, which is to break away, to get away from the noise, to find a desolate place, a quiet place, and spend time with prayer. Because here's what I want to close with. And that is that when we break away and spend time alone with Jesus, first and foremost, it will change you. But also time alone spent with Jesus will begin to change the world around you. And so, you know, the title of this uh, devotional is how do we change the world? And the way in which we change the world as Christians is prayer. That prayer should be our first response that we should, as Paul says, pray without ceasing. And so let us be men and women of prayer. And as we close, I just want to say thank you to so many of you who have uh, followed or subscribed to our channel. We've seen a lot of growth recently, well over 100 subscribers now. And so thank you so much for just how you like this, how you share this, how I know several of you text this or post this on social media. But we're so excited. And really what we're passionate about is just 
uh, more and more people hearing God's word. And so we're going to continue to bring weekly devotionals, some monthly online membership classes, and some new content as well. But in that, we would love to hear from you. If there's something uh, that you would love to see from us here on this Presswin.live uh, YouTube channel, just let us know. Just drop it in the comments, and uh, who knows? Perhaps you'll see it really, really soon. But we always love to hear from you, and our heart is to serve a need. So let us know. Uh, anything that you want us specifically to address, to talk about. But as we close, just as a reminder again, that if we want to change the world, first and foremost, we have to spend time alone with Jesus. Break away and let's be men and women of prayer that frequently have this powerful prayer life just like Jesus.